Hey, uh, here's a few transformations that you may be interested in. Let's begin by creating a simple box. I'll use a div element and assign this a unique ID of box1. And within this box, we'll say, hi. Within my style sheet, I will select box1. I'll give this a border of four pixels solid, a width of 250 pixels, and a height of 250 pixels as well. Let's change the font size to something larger, like 225 pixels. We will change the text alignment to center and change the background too. Pick a color that you like. To work with transformations, there is a transform property and you can select a transformation that you like. Let's begin with translate X. You pass in an amount of pixels to translate your element on the X axis. If I set this to 50 pixels, this element will be translated to the right by 50 pixels, or a negative number for a left translation. Okay, let's select translate Y and do the same thing. This transformation moves elements up or down on the Y axis, or you could combine them both. And that is just simply translate but you pass in two numbers between the parentheses. So this combines both an X and Y translation. We can rotate on the X axis. You pass in an angle like 180 degrees. So that is a rotation on the X axis. There is also a Y axis rotation and a Z axis rotation. We can scale on the x-axis, scale x. One is the default, two means 200%. So this image will stretch twice as wide or three times as wide. There is scale y and that will stretch on the y-axis or you could combine them both with simply scale. If I set both of these values to two, our image is twice as big. We can skew on a given axis, skew X, and then pass in an amount of degrees, like 45 degrees. We can skew on the Y axis, or we can do both. Pass in two values within skew. Uh, let's say 20 degrees for both. There's also matrix. Matrix is a little more complex. There are six values that we can pass in. And they start in this order. The first value is for scale X. The second is for skew Y, skew X, scale Y, translate X, and translate Y. The first number is for scale X, and the fourth number is for scale Y. So I'm going to set this to one for 100%. So if these are both zero, or at least one of them is zero, then this image is going to disappear. So matrix combines the following, scale X, skew Y, skew X, scale Y, translate X, translate Y. So using matrix, you can add more than one transformation. Let's say I need this scaled twice as big and translated. Uh, let's make that a little more drastic, maybe 250. Or I could skew this too. So yeah, those are some simple transformations. Whatever you would like translated, just place this property within an element and you can select one of these based on what you need. So yeah, those are some simple transformations in CSS. If this video helped you out, you can help me out by smashing that like button, leave a random comment down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.